We are here today to celebrate our wonderful couple, Dustin and RP. And top of that, we are celebrating in, in this historical and beautiful castle. Thank you to our relatives and friends to being here and traveling a long way to share this special day together. Justin and RP have invited us here today to share the celebration of their marriage. We gather here today because we share something in common. We share the desire to affirm and support the relationship of Dustin and RP. This is a magical place and only you could have pulled up something like this. We also want to thank the castle staff for the amazing service, for the amazing food. Hello everyone, I'm Greg Lovett, father of Dustin, hey. <laughs> Just wanted to uh, thank everyone for attending. This is a wonderful celebration. Your dreams came true. This is truly fairy tale wedding. You two love each other, you fulfill each other, and you care for, for each other, and that's, that is amazing. I met Hayarp on October 31st, 2002, in high school locker room where she pretended she knew everything about the school. <laughs> she is one of the most amazing people I know. She's very smart and very kind. RP, your energy is unbound. It leaves us in awe. RP literally led us to a better life. RP, your love for our family is unconditional. Your love for Dustin is unconditional. You are a rock for this family, and you are now creating your own fam family with Dustin and us, of course. There is something that RP has been dying for me to say. And hi, RP. If I had another sister, I would love you more than her. Okay? She really wanted me to say that. And I think I'll, I'll agree with her on that today. Okay. RP is truly a best friend any more than she is a sister. She just pours her heart out and her love out to me and to everyone that she knows, uh, really. children in daycares have to take naps. Well, Dustin never had to take a nap because his teacher called him Einstein and kept him up to entertain him. <laughs> so Dustin was the entertainer of the teachers during nap time. <laughs> you know, Dustin um, read books 
all the time as a young man. I mean, just read books all the time. But I encourage him to follow his passion. Dustin, he's always been charming and smart. He did read a lot. Uh, nerding out, as they say, uh, one of the things that I appreciate the most about Dustin is his tendency to share what he's learned with you and his excitability to do it and the earnestness with which he does it. He uh, decided to get his PhD, you know, after several years. It took him a while, you know, settled down a little bit, you know, and changed lifestyle. But finally says, OK, I want to get my PhD. After that, you know, that's where he met Arpy. We did spend high school together, then we went to community college where we spent a lot of time writing letters to each other. So when she told me she met someone and they've been writing letters to each other, I knew she, he was the one. Today she married him. <laughs> RP and Dustin met as prospective PhD students at UC Santa Barbara. When they're deliberating their grad school choices, they remained in email contact and exchanged a couple of handwritten letters. RP and Dustin met again in September at UC Santa Barbara and quickly became friends. They cooked food for each other and soon became lovers. The other thing that you might know about Dustin is his intolerance of onions. When I knew that RP was well matched for him, it's when I learned that she loved onions. And, that dis <laughs> and despite that, she would go to great lengths to find meals and options for him because they loved cooking together, they loved being together and doing those acts. Yay! Dustin, they say opposites attract, but I don't believe in that. <laughs> I love walking for six hours at a museum with you, at any given museum. And even when we're tired, I love that we try to squeeze in one more Raphael or artifacts from the Urartu kingdom. However, my most favorite thing in the world is to sit on our Wayfair couch together and watch serial killer shows. <laughs> People always teased me that I was a tomboy, but I just wanted to be as cool as my older brother. And I still think he's the coolest. <laughs> Um, then we'll go ahead as we're diverging paths. Enter Arpy. <laughs> the brains, the beauty, the joy, the confidence, and the fun. And she really brought us all together. She wove us back together as a family um, and as a sibling unit. And I had begged my parents for a sister my entire life. 31 years of waiting, and I couldn't be more excited and more thrilled to have you as my sister, finally. Later, of course, when he met Arpy, I knew, as soon as they met and I knew that they were together, it was the one. Dustin changed so much. <laughs> and I'm like, and so the first time Arpy came to meet me at our house, and I was like, oh my gosh, it was like we had known each other forever. I mean, we just, I don't know, it was like we blended in so well, and it was just wonderful. The other thing that I immediately noticed about Arpy was her very fierce intelligence and surety of herself. And that's, that, that sort of personality and flame is really the only kind of person that could stand, I think, uh, with Dustin and, and maintain an identity.
<laughs> Dustin, I cannot think of a better man to be marrying RP. You are truly a gentleman and a scholar. Those of us who have tried to hold court with Dustin will understand when I say, sometimes I wish I could download your brain. <laughs> Dustin, anecdotes aside, since we met, my respect for you has only grown. You are an integral part of our family. You are caring, kind, compassionate, and incredibly considerate. You are every bit deserving of RP, as RP is deserving of you. RP? Do you take Dustin to be your husband, to live together in matrimony, to love him, to honor him, to comfort him, and to keep him in sickness and in health, forsaking all others for as long as bo you both shall live? Hi, yo. Hi, Sha. Dustin, do you take RP to be your wife, to live together in matrimony, to love her, to honor her, to comfort her, and to keep her in sickness and in health, forsaking all others for as long as you both shall live. I do. I wanted to thank everyone, we both do, uh, for being here, for sharing this joyful event day with us all. Dustin is not only a wealth of knowledge and kindness, but he's also a man of tradition. The hand binding symbolizes binding the lives together and the commitment that you're making towards one another. I speak for all of us here when I say the love the res and the respect you have for one another is unparalleled. My domestic comrade, you are my light and I always tell you that because no matter what kind of a stressful situation we're in, you always remain calm and I adore you for that. <laughs> he needs a moment. Who's the more emotional one? <laughs> my Jijuk, my Babich, my Arby, my sweetiest. I vow to always bring you your tea and your blankets when it's cozy time on that Wayfair couch. I vow to always try and make sure you have the time you need whether that's when I want to eat and you want to take pictures, and then I still want to eat and you want to take more pictures. <laughs> or if it means making time in the morning to walk to a cafe together, because I know that's the time of the day you most cherish. And life can be pretty rough, so I uh, vow to always try and be calm for you. Because Dustin is a strong flavor, RP also a strong flavor. Finding strong flavors and putting them together, as you've all experienced with this amazing food, is a very delicate balancing act. And it requires a sagacious juxtaposition of your own self and desiring to be with others in order to make a relationship like this work. I think we could all agree that Dustin matches RP very well. And since I've Knowing him, I realized how special he is to her and how they were truly made for each other. I can't think of a better life partner for RP. On behalf of my husband and I, I would like to officially welcome Dustin into our family. I can't express my emotions, my wishes, and my happiness for our newly married couple. I'm certainly they, uh, certain they will have a beautiful future together. 
I would also like to ask to congratulate them to achieving their doctorate degree. degree. They, work, they work extremely hard for it. I'm so, just so proud of them. Because sometimes yeah, things are meant to be together, yes? Yes. And I mean, <laughs> together, have a look. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> oh, you guys have to keep them forever. You know, I want to congratulate the newlyweds. I know this is a big day for for you guys, you know, for me, for my mom and dad. And lastly, uh, if anyone has a favor to ask my dad, it would be today, on the day of his daughter's wedding. <laughs> Cheers! Arpi and Dustin, happiness, love, and many years of life together. From today, Arpi and Dustin started the friendship of the Movsesian and Loven families. So God bless Arpi and Dustin's marriage, and God bless you all. You know, they are both readers, they're both travelers, they're both scholars, and now they'll be taking this journey together for the rest of their lives. Welcome to the family, Arpi. And congratulations to you both. Thank you. That's been wonderful ever since, and she has such a great sense of family and tradition. And you know, I love that about her, and she brings out the best of in Dustin. And I just wish them lots of love, happiness forever after. And I love you guys. It makes me so happy to see her in her own world and married to the man she loves. Hi Arp, I love you. And I was so honored today to stand next to you. And Dustin, you are one lucky man to have her in your life. To both of you, I wish nothing but the best. May your days be filled with laughter and great memories and your nights with love and peace. Thank you. She is just such a joy and brings so much excitement and family and love. Um, and I just couldn't be happier. I will always be you two's biggest cheerleader. Uh, congratulations, so incredibly proud of both of you forever and love you for always. Congrats. Both of you have found uh, your other half. Thank you, Dustin John, for being such a wonderful best friend with my daughter, RP. Always love and respect each other. Good friendship are not built with just time, but with trust. May you grow all together on one pillow and may your life be filled with happiness and joy. Our love to the both of you. Congratulations on your wedding. And thank all of you for coming from far away, from not so far away, I'm looking at the French right now. <laughs> we love you all and we couldn't be happier to spend this day with you. And cheers cheers to y'all! One of the things that I truly wish for you too is that as you continue to grow uh, and together, as you already have, you continue to support each other and growing into yourselves. And that you, in addition to growing more into who you are, there is this sort of third entity that is you two together. And that that space, you know, as uh, the Gibran will say, well, you know, the winds of heavens will dance between you. And may your love not bind you together, but be a sea that moves from shore to shore. And so, here's to you. Cheers. Cheers. 
anywhere as long as I'm with you. I'm lucky and I'm privileged that the many anywheres are always with you. I love you. I uh, vow to love you and cherish you and to try and be worthy of the incredible luck I've had having you and your love in my life blessed beyond the telling of it and I'm just so happy to get to be your husband I love you now that you both have committed yourselves to one another and to your union through the vows that you have taken and by giving and receiving of these rings, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride again.